In this tutorial, we'll look at how to customize a button in Bootstrap 5. All right, so there are basically two ways of doing that. So we're going to look at the, the ugly way of doing it essentially first. So this is the easiest way. So here I'm linking to Bootstrap with the CDN links. In the next example, we'll look at how to modify the source files. So here the easiest way of doing it is just with CDN links. So let's say we have a button, right? BTN, BTN primary, this is what you get. So now let's say we want to customize the button. Let's say we want to change the background color. So easily go to your CSS and you can just select these classes, right? So you can say btn primary, you can say this shouldn't be that blue color, right? This is the primary uh, color, the default, and make it a bit smaller. You can say the background color should actually be, you know, some purple color, let's say. Now, when you do this, you're, set, you're overriding the background color from Bootstrap. So um, to, avoid that, to avoid that this is not going to work, you may want to use the important rule here, which will sort of force the browser to pick this one because you're going to have a clash. So now when we refresh, the, the background color here is purple, but you can see there's still sort of a blue outline here. So you do want to make sure that you essentially also target the variations here. So for example, also this primary color of this button in the hover state, for example, and also when it's uh, focused and also in the... Um, active state let's say right so when you do that now when you hover you're not going to have any uh, issues with that now we still see sort of a weird blue outline so um, what you may want to do is inspect and you want to see where that's coming from maybe it's a border or something and let's see yeah so this button has a border of one pixel so let's see if we can change that as well we could probably say something like um, color or a border color should be purple as well. I'm going to say important. Now when we refresh, the border itself is also purple. Right? Maybe it should be a bit lighter so you can see sort of like a difference, right? I'm zoomed in here, by the way. But this is one, you know, easy, quick and dirty way of, of customizing the buttons in Bootstrap. You're sort of overriding it here in the CSS. This is not the recommended way of doing it. So next I'm going to show you the recommended way of doing it, which is by including and changing the source files. Okay, now the cleanest way of doing this is to actually install Bootstrap with some kind of package manager and then working with the source files. I have a whole video on how to install it with NPM. So if you want to know how to set that up and make it work, then check out that video. I'm going to assume that you're already familiar with that when you're watching this solution. So let's say we have all of these buttons, right? These are the typical buttons that you can get, get from the documentation. And let's say that we want to change the BTM primary to, for example, a custom class, maybe something like Royal Purple, right? So what we're going to do is you need to uh, go to your SAS file. And here we're going to create sort of a new... Um, well, variation for the button ourselves. So what you need to do is you need to include, you need to import the necessary bootstrap files and those are not automatically, it needs to come before you include all of bootstrap. So you, you, if you want to work with the source uh, files, you have to, uh, you want to work with those uh, maps, for example, you have to include them, you have to import these things. And then what we can say is we can create a custom a map. So we can say custom colors and here's where you can create that uh, variation. So, right, so we can say royal purple, that's the name, and it could be any color, right? So we could create any, any, we could pick any color that we want. Let's just pick some color like this. And let's see, we get an error here when I save here. Oh, I forgot semicolon. Right, so ha I'm, I'm compiling here with SAS with an extension. I'm still getting an error. Let's see what's going on here. And, oh, actually it should be here, right? Now let me indent this properly. Okay, now we have success. Okay, so this is a custom map as it's called. And what Bootstrap is using is something called theme colors. That's, that's their own map. So we're going to add this. We're going to merge this with that theme colors map. Right, so that map is a, is a variable. So it comes, it's coming from here. That's why we can use that here. So we can say theme colors. We can set that to map merge. Well, with the previous theme colors. But now merge it with the custom colors. So then the new theme colors is gonna have a an entry essentially for royal purple right so if i do this nothing will change yet but now what we can do here is we can change for example btm primary to um royal purple right if i save here and refresh we have a different color right so now we have sort of created our own variation for that button right and you can also um 
you don't have to pick like a color from CSS. You can actually also use one of their own uh, variables. Uh, so there are other variables that you can use. I think they actually have a variable for purple or something like that, right? So if I save here and refresh, you can see it's actually a different purple. This is actually the purple they use on the homepage as well, right? So make sure you do include this, right? And this is the cleanest way of doing it. It's a little bit more complicated. You need to be a little bit familiar with how to set things up with a package manager. Um, and I'll show you one other way of doing it. Um, which is a little bit easier, but also a bit of a quick and dirty way. So make sure if this is a bit too complicated, check out that other solution as well. Okay, so I just have a simple HTML boilerplate and currently it's, it's completely empty. Now I have included Bootstrap uh, by installing it with NPM, right? So you can install Boots, you can use Bootstrap with CDN links, but here, you know, if you're looking how to customize your button, probably you want to change things in the source code. In that case, you're gonna have to use some kind of package manager to install the Bootstrap source code so that's what i've done here i have a separate video uh, that will show you step by step how to do that properly now once you've done that what you can do is in your sas file you can include all of bootstrap and you can override certain variables you have to do that before you import the other bootstrap stuff and um, that's simply how it's done because what they do is they use the default flag and um, it's going to check if the variable has already been set. So if we already set the variable here and then later um, it, it tries to set it again with the default flag, it's, it's simply going to ignore that and it's just going to use the initial uh, value here. So to check if all of this works is um, very simple. We can just copy the basic buttons from the documentation and then see if we can customize it. So I'm just going to add it here. I'm going to format here and let's see what we have. Okay, so then we have this. Now it's sitting right against the edge here, so let me quickly put this in a container. And I'm also going to add some margin on the top. So let's see. All right, so then we have this. So the easiest way to to um, to customize these buttons is to simply override the, the variables that are used for these buttons. So what you can do is you can look at the source code, right? Bootstrap says, and here they have a file with all the variables, right? A partial file. And this is for all variables, but if you if you search for BTN or buttons, eventually you should see um, all the variables that are used for these buttons. So let's see. Um, yeah, so here we have a bunch of for each of Bootstrap's buttons, define text, background, and border color. Right. So here they have BTN padding for both vertical and horizontal. They have um, the border radius. Right. So what we could do is we could say BTN border radius. And this border radius is then again set by a different variable, which is just generally border radius. But this value is this variable is used for other components as well, right? So we we typically don't want to change the the global uh, border radius. We want we only want to change it for the for the button. So what you can do, for example, is just copy that, and here you can set a different value, right? Now they're using RAM, so let's just try a couple of different RAM values and see what we get, right? So I'm going to set it to one RAM, and I have live SAS compiler, so it automatically compiles the SAS into CSS. Again, I highly recommend you check out my how to install Bootstrap via uh, NPM video. So now if I refresh, you can see the border radius has increased actually, right? And that's simple. It's very simple. Just override these variables. Now you can also override, for example, BTN secondary. I can simply say BTN secondary. That's this uh, gray color right now, but maybe we want that to be some kind of purple color. Right, I can I can just set it to purple. If I then refresh here, and uh, let's see, did it compile? And actually, I made a mistake here. This should not be BTNs. That's the class, but the 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 variable is actually secondary. Right, just secondary. If you then refresh, I get purple. I can also change the primary color. Right, the primary color is this this blue one. Right, and this is what this class BTN primary is using. But I can set the primary. This is a global variable, by the way. Right, so it's not only used for these buttons. It's going to be used in other places as well. So you want to be a little bit more careful with that. I can set it to yellow green. Now this primary color, if I refresh, it's going to be yellow green. So you want to be careful. You want to pay attention to the global versus the button only variables. So anything with BTN in front of it, you know, is fair game. I think so. BTN, let's say padding Y. We can set that to, let's say, that's the padding vertically. We can make that some number just to see if we're increasing it or decreasing it. So now that actually made it much bigger, right? You can change that. Let's make it a little bit smaller, one rem. We can even change the font family only for the buttons, the font size, line height, white space, and anything you can think of, essentially, right? Maybe um, you want to change the, the, the padding for the horizontal axis as well. Make that two RAM. Let's see what we get. All right, so then we get this, right? So you can play around with that. 
but make sure you understand the difference between the global variables because this primary color is not only used for buttons. So when we change it here, it's also, also going to affect other components. However, these variables are only going to be used for buttons, so we can safely change that. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like react and node.js so if you want to be notified then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter you can find the link in the description thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon